great, silent majority, and a political sub-nation, the political sub-nation remains attached to, the docile sub-nation, tolerates it, and leeches its substance until it grows strong enough, to detach itself and then devour its parent, system analysis, page 40. See, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, Soros, and those like them, including Trump and Obama, they're nothing but veal scum. And this is how they think of you. And all the taxpayers. They help you themselves to your money. If you dare to say anything, they'll label you a terrorist. Then they'll turn around and write a report like this and say that you're too lazy to do anything about it. And the other thing we need to do in mass is just demand the arrest of the Rockefellers, all of them, all the Rothschilds, all the Soros, to nauseam until they listen to us. It's, it, it's like using their playbook against them and we have to do it daily hourly and you know till they're sick of hearing us and then they'll finally do something about it because they're paper tigers silent weapons for quiet wars in order to make meaningful computerized economic decisions about war the primary economic flywheel it is necessary to assign concrete logistical values to each element of the war structure personnel and material alike this process begins with a clear and candid description of the subsystems of such a structure the draft as military service few efforts of human behavior modification are more remarkable or more effective than that of the socio-military institution known as the draft a primary purpose of a drafter other such institution is to instill by intimidation in the young males of a society the and critical conviction that the government government is omnipotent, he is soon taught that a prayer is slow to reverse what a bullet can do in an instant. Thus, a man trained in a religious environment for 18 years of his life can, by this instrument of the government, be broken down, be purged of his fantasies and delusions in a matter of mere months. Once that conviction is instilled, all else becomes easy to instill. Even more interesting is the process by which a young man's parents, who purportedly love him, can be induced to send him off to war to his death. Although the scope of this work will not allow this matter to be expanded in full detail, nevertheless, a course overview will be possible and can serve to reveal those factors which must be included in some numerical form in a computer analysis of social and war systems. We begin with a tentative definition of the draft. The draft, selective service, etc., is an institution of compulsory collective sacrifice sacrifice and slavery devised by the middle-aged and elderly for the purpose of pressing the young into doing the public dirty work it further serves to make the youth as guilty as the elders thus making criticism of the elders by the youth less likely generational stabilizer it is marketed and sold to the public under the label of patriotic equals national service once a candid economic definition of the draft is achieved that definition is used to outline the boundaries of a structure called a human value system which in turn is translated into the terms of game theory the value of such a slave laborer is given in a table of human values a table broken down into categories by intellect experience post-service job demand, etc. Some of these categories are ordinary and can be tentatively evaluated in terms of the value of certain jobs for which a known fee exists. Some jobs are harder to value because they are unique to the demands of social subversion. For an extreme example, the value of a mother's instruction to her daughter, causing that daughter to put certain behavioral demands upon a future husband 10 or 15 years. Page 41. You have to criticize anyways, <clears throat> even if they stand up and say you're a hypocrite. Because remember, everything that they put on the public is forced. It's not consensual. You don't consent to the draft you don't consent to the war you don't consent to anything that they're doing except for what they were supposed to be doing which was just kind of managing things on a small government level which 
we didn't consent to a big government. And the other point is, is that this is what Trump is doing to everybody, to all the patriots. Is using the patriotism, and and he's all for you and all that bullshit. So once he uh, throws the draft in, once a bunch of um, U.S. Marines and soldiers and all that get killed, so he's going to open up the draft, just kill some more. Because that's what he's here for, to reduce the population to 54 million from over 400 million. What they have on their side is a lie. It's around 420 million. Silent weapons for quiet wars. Hence, thus, by suppressing his resistance to a perversion of a government, making it easier for a banking cartel to buy the state of New York in, say, 20 years. Such a problem leans heavily upon the observations and data of wartime espionage and many types of psychological testing, but crude mathematical models, algorithms, etc can be devised, if not to predict, at least to predeterminate these events with maximum certainty. What does not exist by natural cooperation is thus enhanced by calculated compulsion. Human beings are machines, levers which may be grasped and turned, and there is little real difference between automating a society and automating a shoe factory. These derived values are variable. It is necessary to use a current table of human values for computer analysis. These values are given in true measure rather than U.S. dollars, since the latter is unstable, being presently inflated beyond the production of national goods and services so as to give the economy a false kinetic energy, paper, inductance. The silver value is stable, it being possible to buy the same amount with a gram of silver today as it could be bought in 1920. Human value measured in silver units changes slightly due to changes in production technology. Enforcement. Factor I. As in every social system approach, stability is achieved only by understanding and accounting for human nature, action, reaction patterns. A failure to do so can be and usually is, disastrous. As in other human social schemes, one form or another of intimidation, or incentive, is essential to the success of the draft. Physical principles of action and reaction must be applied to both internal and external subsystems. To secure the draft, individual brainwashing, programming and both the family unit and the peer group must be engaged and brought under control. Factor 2. Father. The man of the household must be housebroken to ensure that Junior will grow up with the right social training and attitudes. The advertising media, etc., are engaged to see to it that father to be is pussy whipped before her. By the time he is married, he is taught that he either conforms to the social notch cut out for him or his sex life will be hobbled and his tender companionship will be zero. He is made to see that women demand security more than logical, principled, or honorable behavior. Page 42. Which is a bunch of crap. That's what they... <clears throat> they mind control people into wanting. Which in turn... <clears throat> pussy wit men, I guess. I, I really don't know about that, but... Um, this... The writer of this, the Rockefeller, Rockefellers, they're all guilty. There was enough in here to get somebody on espionage, conspiracy, uh, RICO Act, and in, when this was brought to the attention of Congress and the Senate, Sen <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> and the Senate <laughs> and your local Congress people back in the 80s, Oh, Rockefeller hired somebody to hurry up and write a book and say, oh, it was just fantasy, and this is just like, uh, he didn't call it fake news back then, but um, referred to people as being uh, uh, hyper-delusional or something like that. And it turned into a bestseller and all that. But the thing is, and the truth is, that <laughs> this is the plan. I mean, you can see it unfold in front of you, and... These are the psychopaths, the mentally ill people, the